Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm as always Darth Devious, and this time it's not really a review, more of a comparison. This is the knockoff version of Masterpiece Red Alert. And I will say, for a knockoff which cost me far less than uh, the Sideswipe, it's not bad. It's it's almost spot on. There's a few little minor nitpicks I have with it, but for a knockoff, I'm not going to complain. Um, some of them I can fix. Uh, one or two I probably won't be able to do anything with, but I'm not going to worry about it. So there you go. And the packaging, it's, it's sort of like a not-as-sharp version of the actual Takara one, because you, you can see how they, like, you know, scanned it, which lost some of the resolution, so, yeah. But it's just pretty much the same. It even has the Lamborghini um, hologram, though it's not quite the same, but it is there. And you see, same packaging artwork on the back, and if I were to bring out the the card and all that, you would see how, you know, you could tell it was scanned in originally and, you know, printed up again. Because it's not quite as sharp as side swipes, but you can see. It's pretty cool. Anyway. Get that out of here. We'll bring him in. I know, white car, white background. Worst thing ever. Worst thing ever. And, you know, it actually is pretty good. I mean, plastic quality feels the same as Sideswipe. I'll bring in Sideswipe in a minute. Um, in fact, in some places, the paint job is actually a little better than Sideswipe's. Uh, I know on Sideswipe, I had chipping back here when I transformed, and I haven't had any on him. Um, you see, everything's pretty much the same. Now, I... Um, there seems to be a little bit of darkness around these on the official one, around the headlights. These actually work. They're fine. Um, zoom in. You can see here. The Lamborghini logo is not quite what it should be. It looks pretty good. It's not too bad. Nice, sharp uh, fire department. Autobot symbol, as you can see, is not quite as sharp, um, especially around the mouth part here. It's, it, it droops a little bit. All right, but that's like a minor thing. If I wanted to, I could take a repro label and put right over that, and that'll fix that right up. That's just not a big deal. You see the other lettering on the side is really nice. Everything's nice and crisp on him. Even the back, the tail lights, hard to see, hard to see. Tail lights, you know. Now here's where you get uh, the biggest change. I know it's hard to see, but it actually says. Lamborg Thurley or something like that instead of Lamborghini and it says Cantash instead of Countach and there's also the, the paint on here is just a tiny tiny bit rough but it's just this little bumper section and you know that's I can see that I'm not I'm not worried about that and he rolls about as well as Sideswipe does Sideswipe didn't roll very well for me either um, it's just the nature of the toy his wheels do spin a little better than Sideswipe's. On mine, Sideswipe's wheels didn't spin quite as well. At least the, the one. We'll bring in Sideswipe real quick so you can see. They really are the same vehicle. You know? Uh, his Autobot symbol is much sharper. And his Lamborghini symbol is centered better. And you see it actually says Lamborghini Countach on the back. So if somebody sells you this and says it's genuine and it says Cantash on the back, they got you with the knockoff. So yeah, but this one is genuine. This is the knockoff. They actually have the same weight, pretty much. I mean, he feels like maybe an ounce or two more in weight, but not really. And you can see here, they got, you know, you can see there's, there's black around the headlights. And I think it was the same thing with Red Alert. And the knockoff doesn't have that, but that's fine. I can live with that. Alright? 
So came with his own weapons, you know, just like Sideswipe had his weapons. Let me grab these real quick. He's got his red gun, which is of a different design. Well, not really. It's the same design, but it's um, it's just red version of this gun. Now I will say it doesn't peg into his hand as well. Um, I just I'm just gonna put like a little bit of clear nail polish on on the nubs here, and that'll take care of that. That's not a huge deal. Um, his missile launcher. It's really nice. See, side swipes is just all white. This is red and silver, and they're identical. I mean, there's just no, other than the colors, they're identical. I mean, there's not really anything to complain about. And yeah, it plugs in. Like one thing nice about Red Alert is he's got the port right at the top there. And yeah, you can plug this in. Have the stupid car with the you know. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. So let me get these guys in robot mode, and we'll do a quick comparison to that. Be right back. All right, here we have the knockoff version of uh, Red Alert in robot mode. And come up a little bit here, so we can get in a little the camera better. And, you know, it's not bad. Um, I do have a few issues in the robot mode that I will go over, but um, now you saw one. His knees are just a tad bit too loose. I mean, this one's actually worse than the other one. But that's like the biggest nitpick I have is the knees are loose. Um, I can easily fix that. Just a couple drops of future finish in the pin joints, and that'll tighten them up real nice. Um... The other thing I have is these sit at an angle. They're supposed to be, you know, straight against the body, more like that, but they have a tendency just to angle out, which means that his gun doesn't sit straight with his body. But it's not that noticeable. It's it's a minor thing, um, and the, this doesn't peg in quite as tightly as side swipes does. And you can see right there, he does have a slight gap. In his head is actually it was actually worse when I got it. I found there's some stuff in there. If you shave it down, it's it's getting tighter. I'm gonna have to get in there a little bit more and work on it and get that so that it sits flush against his head like side swipes does. Otherwise, he's not too 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 bad. You know, face sculpt. Let's come up. Is really nicely done. In fact, um, if I bring in Sideswipe, you can see Sideswipe's face doesn't look as chiseled as Red Alert's. See what I'm saying? It's, his seems a little softer, especially in the lips and stuff like that. So I don't know. It, it, it's I know they basically share the same head, but, uh, you know, I think... Red Alerts, even though it's a knockoff, I think Red Alerts came out a little bit better. Come on. Oh, the knees are giving out. He goes all weak in the knees. Anyway, stand up. Stand up. Jerk. All right. There we go. I need to see. We'll bring in Sideswipe again. I'll just compare the two. And it's, it, There's not much more to say. I mean, it's just... He's the knockoff of this mold, but he's got all the red alert parts. Like, he's got the wheels on the side that Sideswipe doesn't have. You know, things like that. He also did come with this. The clear, you know, I'm going crazy and I have a glitch helmet. And it sits on him really nicely. I like that. Oh, why, Optimus Prime, why don't you believe me and take security? Seriously. <laughs> so, yeah. If you're um, on a budget like I am most of the time, this is a good uh, way to get the some of these Masterpiece cars. Um, I know I don't have Blue Streak. There's a, mas there's a knockoff of Blue Streak coming. I'll probably get him just to fill in the cars. Um, it's nice to have the official ones, but if you can't afford all these official Masterpiece Transformers, it's nice that somebody has really gone out and made, um, 
high, high quality version of the mold. And they're really, other than a few minor issues that I can actually fix, most of them, you're not going to get much better than that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to have the mold and you don't want to pay $70, $80 for this, you can get him usually for 30 or 40 So for half the price, you're getting a really great version of the same figure. So there you go. Just my personal opinion. I know some people, you know, to cry knockoffs and things like that. You know, you're taking away money from official stuff. I, I know. But some of us, you know, we live in the real world and we can't always afford the best stuff. And it's nice that there are alternatives to have these in the collection. So there you go. I recommend if you're on a budget, get this. I mean, if you can afford the original, go for it. It's a fantastic mold. But if you're on a budget, you can easily get this. So there you go. You all be good. I'm going to send crazy knockoff red alert after you. This one's even crazier than the original. Later.